LA YouTube. All right, more thrift store scores today. You saw earlier in the video that today they had like video game console extravaganza in the uh, jewelry counter over there. They had uh, one of the four Switch Atari 2600s in there. I was tempted to get that, but I already have a, a heavy sixer Atari 2600, so I don't really need another one, <laughs> considering I'm starting to get rid of stuff, but I still have this habit. Anyway, let's make this video. First, I got a keyboard for $2. It's an HP keyboard. And it actually feels pretty good. It doesn't feel all like cheap and nasty like that Logitech K120 does. Who makes this? It's a K, uh, it's a KU1060. So I don't really know who wh what company's model numbers. It might be a chick. No, it's not a chickeny. I don't think. Nah, can't be. It feels nice though. Has a function key too. That's a little bit odd. Either way, and it doesn't have a Windows key on the right side. Weird. Either way, it's brand spanking new, so why not It'll replace a crappy key? Some one crappy keyboard I already have. And here's the star of the show. For ten dollars, I picked this up. It's a Yamaha Natural Sound Stereo Receiver R30, and supposedly these sound pretty good. So. Yeah, I, t I plugged this in at the store, and the protection relay wor went on, so hopefully it works. One thing that's really nice about this receiver that's notable is the uh, loudness is actually variable, like uh, on some, like you see on some uh, 90s stuff. I think this is from the 80s, though. It looks like it is. Let me flatten everything out here. has bass extension, which is probably just loudness. Uh, in general, it's a good receiver. I looked it up on Audio Karma, and apparently it has it's a 50 watt receiver, 25 per channel, 25 watts per channel. It's made by Nippon, which is pretty cool. Nippon Gaki Corporation Limited, it's made in Japan, so it's not total crap. It draws 120 or 130 watts from the outlet, but that's by no means what comes out of here. Uh, let's see what kind of speakers it can take. 816. Can't go down to 4 ohms. No, no, it can't go down to 4 ohms for reasons you'll see uh, in the video about this. So I'll just do a quick test of it here, and then this thing will get its own separate video because it's nice. All right, I plugged it into the wall and uh, plugged these speakers in. Speakers are off right now and the volume is low, so I'll turn this thing on. Bonk, there goes the relay. So, turn the speakers on. See if we can get any stations. There we go. Only got one channel. Hmm. Well, one channel doesn't seem to work. Let me see if I can figure that out. Wow, I'm an idiot. I had the uh, right speaker in the left of speaker B. <laughs> I got a little disoriented when hooking that up, so... Let's try this again. There we go. See if we can find anything else. Doesn't look like it. Probably just go back to that. Huh. 
probably needs an antenna. So I'll get a source all hooked up and we'll test this out and take a look at it more completely in, in, this, in the uh, separate video about it. Anyhow, these are the two things I got at the thrift store. This uh, brand freaking new HP keyboard and this Yamaha, this Yamaha ha ha <laughs> natural sound stereo receiver R30.